Literally been trying to come up with a clutch intro for the past half hour. Can't do it, so I'm just gonna start the video right here. You can probably tell what it is already, but just for a demonstration, it goes together something like this. First of all, I have these pegs that I added on for support and hopefully together with the glue it will bond quite strongly. And I did the same thing for this part here, a little bit smaller pegs. Oh. Oh my god. That turned out way better than I thought it would. I kind of like the colors. Uh, yes, I am using wood glue and yes, I do know how weird that is But I've done my testing Twenty-four hours later printed was actually quite a challenge. I needed, I needed not one and not two, but four attempts on the bottom piece before I was happy. Before I found the quality to be sufficient to keep water out from the boat, which is still pending. We still need to try this in water. Yeah, there is some water, whatever. That's not how you feel, babe. Oh, I'm flitting under so much water. If you haven't seen the video of me building this raft, you definitely should because it's a pretty great video. You know, I'm just gonna place it in the water. Hopefully it won't sink. Hopefully it won't melt or explode. That's a legit concern. We have steering and we should have power. I'm just gonna place it a little bit further away. The steering is very limited. This is full left, so we certainly need more, more control authority. All right, before we continue from where we left off yesterday, I thought I would go through the boat and show you a little what I did to build it. So we can begin with the hatch. It doesn't fully close, so water can get in. That's a design feature. I obviously have a rod to hold the 360 camera so we get some beautiful footage. And we can open the hatch. There we go, to reveal the motor. That's a, well, I don't know what motor it is. 
The servo I did need to remount. I did an oopsie and put the rod all the way out here, which gave it minimum amount of uh, authority, but a lot of strength. So I put it way in closer, so that way we can have a lot more steering authority, which is exactly what we needed, because I could barely turn left and right. The boat was printed in three parts, one, two, three, and I glued it using some ordinary wood glue. I know that's kind of weird, but it's kind of a transparent glue. You can probably see uh, the edges right here. And I also reinforced the original file to have these uh, kind of uh, pegs sticking out so that g that gave it a lot of strength the propeller was printed with nylon seems to hold up just fine I have two bearings here one in here and one in here and one out here and all of these three are to keep water from coming in this way I'm not sure how tall it is but it's really heavy and based on the small experiment we did in the bathtub it sure has a lot of power so it's gonna be interesting seeing what it can do. I'm just using a two cell battery so that's about 8 volts of power but I do also have the possibility to make it a serial connection that should be around 15 volts so a lot more power so that's also gonna be really interesting to see what kind of power output this beast can do. A lot more steering. Alright, what's going on? I have all the cameras going, hopefully. Even the 360 camera this time. So again, this is on a 2-cell, not too, not too much power. Look, the fact that it didn't split in half, the fact that it didn't catch on fire, I'm pretty happy with it. Considering the title of the boat being a speedboat, I'm not sure that's what we just witnessed. Though, we did encounter a problem. Wait, you're not supposed to glue on top of spray paint? Um... Oh, did I forgot to mention why it looks like a giant unicorn popsicle? Well... It's really heavy, unbelievably heavy, and so I gathered all the half-empty spools for the 3D printer and I used all the spools to make up what this is. Goodbye, parallel connection, hello, serial connection. So pretty much what I'm doing is doubling the voltage from 8 volts to 16, so that should give us a lot better chance of uh, frying some electronics. All right, it's a lot more power. I'm low-key scared. If it's going to fail, it will probably be at this point. Let's drive it till it dies. I almost crashed it. God damn. And she lives to die another day, which is pretty rare on this channel. Usually it dies before the video can even end. But this time it worked. The acceleration was actually far better than I anticipated. The top speed was questionable. I certainly need a more powerful motor, but that could be a fun upgrade. So it didn't melt, it didn't catch on fire, and it didn't split. So overall I'm gonna consider this a pretty successful project. And it was a blast to build too. And with that note, I'm gonna end this video. So have an awesome day. Bye.